Hi, my friends. Well, I made it into town, and I'll let you know. This goes later where I'm at. It's not doing anything. This is just, oh, I miss this place. It's a beautiful small town, and uh, it's cold though here. It's really cold. It's more of a surprise. It's so cold it is. But uh, so I'll keep that secret for now. I'll let you know. But anyway, this place reminds me of a year ago. I can't believe how much has changed within a year. I'm in shock. And uh, I was looking around. Yeah, everything's shut down this time of night. Are you kidding me? But you know, I gotta love the small town because even a gentleman I went down to uh, to uh, just a second ago, a gentleman he actually recognized me. He said, "Oh my gosh!" He goes, "You're back in town?" I said, "Yeah." And isn't that just crazy? So anyway, I got uh, sort of I got an officer here, and these small towns you gotta be careful. So I'm trying to find out what I'm trying to do here. He's he's not gonna cause me a problem, but I want to talk on the phone, right? God bless. Well, that's kind of that was that's interesting, my friends. Is yeah, I just I was talking on the you know you don't want to be driving. I shouldn't have been doing that, doing a video recording because the officer sees you doing that. And I actually have a headset on, so I'm completely legal and all that stuff. But I did not have my seatbelt on, friends, and make sure you do that. I just was because uh, I'm driving slow speed here, so I didn't do that. So anyway, so somebody to tell you though is that I've been trained to read uh, officers, I told you people, places, towns, and uh, thank goodness for the Father, Lord, the Holy Spirit, all doing this. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's talking over you. So anyway, I actually read the police officer, and it's it's crazy. I'm, you know, if you saw him driving next to me, I can actually read police officers. Isn't that amazing? And you know, I can't. I, I don't do it. They do it for me. So thank you for the side. And why they do this? So I can I know who what kind of officer I'm approaching if I need their help or the situation. So it's just amazing. Now that's a that's a gift that they've given me, and they've given you gifts as well. And that's a gift because, you know, I'm always on the streets. So as I said, we got to help you, Kirk, and help work the police through a spiritual means. So thank you, other side, the higher command, because they just lit at me. Because like, sometimes I go to a new place. Uh, I was familiar with this town, but I actually never got to interact with the police here for some reason. Uh, man, that's good or bad thing. I don't, probably a good thing, right? But uh, that's the first time that I've actually got to read one of the officers. He's a good guy. I just read him, boom, just like that. Now, uh, boy, I love this town, though. It reminds me of a small town, uh, that feel, you know, a small family. And, you know, there's just so much to say about these people. They're awesome people, okay? And I'll tell you later, just kind of just keeping it safe because I just want to make a surprise for my, for my uh, you know, well, I don't know why a surprise. No, just surprise for, uh, you know, people back, uh, some family in Colorado. They said, where you at? And um, so I just because... <laughs> But this place is gonna be cool. I'm gonna have some great videos from here. I've already done a lot of work in here. There's something I'm gonna re-explore. Yes, I'm gonna tell you that tomorrow. Uh, boy, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna go back to a certain location. I've done a video too about this before, and I, I didn't have a lot of time to investigate this place and uh, read it completely spiritually. Now they even know more, have more wisdom and more knowledge. This place, I gotta check this place out. You're gonna be blown away. That's one of the reasons I came here. And also came here to get away from the big city of San Diego. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you. So, happy trails to you as well. And happy trails for me. And thank you, the Lord. Oh, by the way, the Lord just communicated to you earlier. I have to talk to you about that. Um, I'm going to do a video uploaded on this way here about there is a convention. You know, it's the world's largest uh, marijuana festival in the world. World's largest marijuana festival. Yeah, so I stopped by to do some witnessing and also to, uh, you know, I'm not trying to judge a place, the people, just do some witnessing about marijuana stuff. And guess what? And Lord had a little joke with me, he dropped me a rock for me. And I'll show you later about, uh, he said, you know, stone, stoners, you get it. So he dropped me a stone and he said, keep the faith, Kirk, and all this other, and you believe and keep the walk. I'll show that rock later. All right, God bless and hoping you have a great evening or day. And by the way, it's cold here, very cold. So uh, I get a camp down here and get warm. All right, God bless, love y'all.